Hello again, everyone. Edwin Learner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about something a little bit different and oblique. You saw the title of my video is says the death of Edwin Learner. Well, it's not about a literal death. It's about the eventual death of the Edwin Learner channel or Edwin Learner astrology. Now, all things come to an end at some point, and I don't anticipate the channel ending anytime soon, but who really knows? Life is very unpredictable. Things could happen uh, very spontaneously. And But the thing is, I want to talk really strongly about uh, the legacy that I'd, I'd like to leave behind when eventually I do stop uh, making uh, the astrology videos and I stop doing the astrology. Now... The thing is, I, I want to be remembered as someone that was very consistent, very persistent, didn't use certain days as an excuse not to do, didn't feel well certain days. As many of you may know, I really religiously, I put these videos, I put at least one video up practically every day. And the only thing that generally will stop me is if I don't have the internet connection. Now, if I'm in a situation or scenario when I, where the internet goes out, whether it's by some uh, some bad weather circumstance or whatever it might be, uh, many of you may remember that I followed my uh, channel very steadfastly. That uh, there was about I think it was about six months ago my computer went out of commission. I didn't put any videos up for about a week. So that's really the only thing that I would see stopping me. It's not about me being flamboyant or, or being having great uh, background, a literal uh, like a background like I'm talking about the image literally behind me when I'm producing the videos. It's about my astrological background, as I've reiterated a number of times in other previous videos. Many the one some of you may have seen them, others may not, but really. It just, uh, what I want to do is it, leave a legacy behind where I, I leave a good amount of videos that others can learn from, really. My last name is Learned, so of course I want others to become learned in the subject of astrology. Now, the thing about it is I, everybody has wants to leave their own legacy. Uh, some people want to leave a, a legacy behind if they're doing astrology videos that they want to be remembered as really having like an entertaining quality or somebody that use that use has um that really had a more vibrant personality and wanted to add some kind of excitement perhaps to what they were doing but when i but what i want to leave behind is just really having a good information being able to uh, provide someone with my profuse knowledge of the subject and, and people to assimilate this information and be able to really digest something and find out things that they didn't know about um, about astrology and to really expand one's mind uh, regarding this and that's really as far as as far as the legacy I'd like to leave behind, that's what I really am, am really striving uh, to want to do. And as I stated before, I don't anticipate this channel coming to an end uh, anytime, uh, anytime in the real uh, near future. But uh, unfortunately, of course, if something were to happen to me, and uh, the channel, uh, I mean, I would obviously there would be I, I wouldn't be able to make any videos, but that would be something that would be very abrupt and very it, obviously the chances of something like that are minuscule. Now, I haven't really looked into much like if something were like, say, let's say hypothetically that I um, I hit an elderly type age and I passed away. And the channel, it, and I didn't, I didn't stop the channel. I'm not sure how that would it would work. If I didn't end the channel, if it would still continue for a certain amount of time, and would they keep YouTube, keep the channel open? Those are things that I haven't really looked into. And but it, it's something that I believe I still need to because in that event, I would like to know if the channel would continue to survive, or, or would YouTube at some point in time automatically. Uh, get rid of it. I have a friend It said she had gotten locked out of one of her uh, YouTube channels, but the videos uh, remained up there for, for some time after she had gotten locked out of it. So I guess for a certain amount of time, those videos would stay up there, but I'm not sure exactly for what length, and I don't know all the nuances in that. And that's something I need to look into and research, I, I believe. But 
I just want uh, people to know that just the, my legacy is also about being reliable and dependable and steadfast and and to really that it's not uh, just to, to be somebody that puts these videos up very consistently and that uh, that a person that could be depended on to do this as well and consistently provide people uh, with useful astrological information. I mean, obviously I have a very strong passion and exuberance for what I'm doing and I wouldn't be doing it if, obviously if I, if I didn't. And this is something where when I first started this channel, I was like, okay, maybe I'll do some rising sign videos and some sun sign and see where it goes. But this thing got to a point where it escalated where I just, I, I guess, I just wanted to keep doing it and build this encyclopedia of videos for people uh, to hopefully appreciate and, and to learn from and to, to digest um, uh, astrological information from and put it in, in an order where it's very organized and people can, I guess they can find them uh, to, to, in just by basically by uh, fairly easily anyway, because I have them all. I have them all grouped like for example the sun in the first house then the next one the sun in the second house it kind of goes in a logical order and they're all like sun in the houses would be all you know all 12 of them would all be pretty much they're all not pretty much they're all together so to speak they're all fall one right after the other sun in the first house sun in the second house sun in the third house etc and they go in a certain order and then with the planets in the house of course i do the moon in, in the houses and then mercury so on and so forth so they are even though i don't have them in those uh th there are ways on youtube i think you could put like a list like those like group them like actually literally group them together but i have not done that but they are still very searchable and you can find them just by typing uh whatever your, your you know most most videos as far as pl any videos planets in the houses planets and the signs the aspects you could find most of just by going to my channel and typing what you're looking for in the search box pretty much so that's you know how that goes but anyway people that's uh what i wanted to get with you on and i'm sorry if you saw the title and you became alarmed and but that's not uh but edwin Leonard is the name of the channel and i am talking about uh figurative death uh of of the as far as the channel uh would go eventually and unless i could get somebody to uh, keep doing it when i'm when i'm done with it that's another thing i gotta keep in mind and and also i can and may stay open for a certain amount of time if i'm not putting anything on it or if it's inactive you know as far as uh, act, as far as activity for me goes so those are some things to look at and anyway people uh two things i want to get with you on before i head out firstly the stars may impel but do not compel and secondly never isolate any single astrological element aspect planetary placement position configuration influence or what have you and make an analysis of a person astrologically speaking based on this alone because astrologically speaking the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart and not just one until next time people stay well